Hi everyone. Soon we will release version 3.2 of Open Journal Systems in Open Monograph Press. This version will help you track changes to articles and monographs after they have been published so that you can preserve changes to the scholarly record. In this example, we can see that two versions of this article have been published and scholars can view old versions to see what's changed. As editors, you're going to notice some changes to the submission workflow, and this video will help you understand those changes. I'll show you an example of publishing in Open Journal Systems, but you'll find the same changes in Open Monograph Press. This is a view of the submissions workflow. Most of it hasn't changed and will remain familiar to you, but from version 3.2 on, you'll edit everything related to publishing a submission under this publication tab. You can edit the title and abstract. Uh, you can edit metadata. You can add authors and contributors and upload PDF galleys. When you're ready to schedule a submission for publication, go to the issue tab and select the issue you want to schedule it in. Come down here to save the issue assignment. And then you'll need to make sure when you're finally ready to schedule it that you come up here and click the Schedule for Publication button. This will make sure that all of the publishing requirements are met, and if they are, it'll let you schedule it for publication. You can tell when something's scheduled because you'll see the status has changed, and you'll also get this indicator up here to let you know that it's scheduled. Whenever an issue is published, it will automatically publish any of the submissions that are scheduled to be published in it. Here's an example of a submission that's already been published. Because it's been published, we can't actually make changes to any of the title or abstract data, or add contributors, or upload PDFs. In order to do that, we first have to create a new version. This is going to make a copy of all the publication details so that we can make changes without destroying the publishing history of this article. The authors asked that I make changes to the abstract to update an incorrect figure, so I'll go ahead and do that. I'm also going to need to save that change and then upload a new PDF galley since it will have been changed there as well. When I'm ready, I can publish these changes and Open Journal Systems will ensure that both versions are available for the public record. So if I just refresh this page, I'll see now it's showing me both versions. I can see that it's updated the abstract. And if I go back to look at an old version, it'll show me the old abstract. And it'll also let me know, in case I landed on this page from somewhere else, that I'm looking at an old version, and that there's a more recent version of this available. We know that any changes to your publishing workflow can be disruptive, but I hope that this video helps you navigate those changes and helps you make use of versioning in your publishing efforts. If you have any questions, please reach out to us on the PKP Community Forum. Just search on Google for PKP Community Forum and you'll find us. Thanks.